vlog with a question for you guys. So Brayden and I were just listening to the radio and I was singing along and got the lyrics wrong as usual. I literally get the lyrics wrong to like absolutely every song and make them up. And the other day, Boogie Wanna Dance was playing, but I don't know, for years, I thought it was Boogie Wonderland. And I only recently realized that it was Boogie Wanna Dance. And I'm like, surely I'm not the only one who hears things completely wrong in songs and convinces themselves that it's something else until they sing in front of someone and they're like, that is not the lyrics. Let me know if you guys do the same thing and like what songs you get the lyrics wrong to because I think I just get overly confident and I start singing even if I don't know the words and then I just train myself to think that they're the lyrics. <laughs> Great way to start the vlog. <laughs> Yuck. Right, time to make banana bread. Good morning everyone. I feel like the start of this vlog was so random, but I'm just filming a day in my life. It is Sunday today. I always love vlogging on Sundays because it's like our day off and it's when we get up to the most stuff and it's always really relaxing. So as you will have seen, we had a really nice walk this morning. I made some banana bread and now I'm actually out because I'm about to pick up my new iPhone, which is so exciting. Yeah, I'm going to head in and pick it up from the front of the store. I am home and look what I've got. I'm so, so excited to open this up and go through it with you guys. So I ended up getting the iPhone 13 Pro. I was really like indecisive and didn't know which one to get because there are so many different options. There's the mini, the normal 13, 13 Pro and 13 Max. And then also I was like, do I just get like an iPhone 12? Because some people say that like the iPhone 12 isn't that different to the 13. But then I was like, no, I might as well just get the newest version, which is why I ended up getting the Pro because the Pro has like quite a lot of differences in my opinion to just the 13 and the camera looks a lot better, better battery life. And I'm just so excited to put it to the test. It's been an upgrade that I've been meaning to do for a long, long time because I have the iPhone 10 and the camera, if I'm honest, is pretty rubbish. Like I've been wanting to get the iPhone 12, but as soon as I heard that the new phone was coming out, I was like, well, I might as well just wait it out. But then all of a sudden they made this announcement the other day saying it was out and I'm like, okay, right, I'm ordering, I'm doing a click and collect and I got it. So I'll do an unboxing in a little bit, but right now I'm gonna make my lunch. Oh my god, my hand is shaking. I literally just smashed this bottle. I was just gonna tell you guys how good this sauce was. Okay, I think I've managed to mop all of that up, but I was gonna say, for lunch today, I'm gonna make myself like a quinoa and smoked salmon salad. I've been loving having smoked salmon in my lunch lately. It's just so easy and delicious. So I actually just like pre-made this quinoa salad. We've been having it for lunch over the past few days. It's been really useful actually. So I'm gonna start meal prepping this a bit more, but basically it's just quinoa, capsicum, sweet corn, black beans, cucumber, and I think that's it. And then I actually made like a little dressing with olive oil, honey, garlic, and balsamic, and then I mixed it in. It is quite a subtle dressing, which is why I was gonna add another one because I like my dressing. And that one that I was going to use before I smashed it was the crispy noodle dressing. It's like an Asian one and it's so, so good. It's basically soy and sesame, I believe. Anyway, it's really nice. So I'm just gonna have some of this with one piece of smoked salmon, sprinkle some sesame seeds on top, and I might add another dressing. We'll see. I mean, this looks amazing if I do say so myself. I just added a little bit more balsamic and that is my lunch. The banana bread has turned out pretty well as well. I just had it in the oven for 45 minutes. I'll link the recipe down below. I'm sure a lot of you know how to make banana bread, but I didn't, but this is a vegan one that I made and it was super easy. I also use coconut sugar instead of brown sugar because I personally just prefer that. So yes, this is dairy free and egg free as well. And the reason that we're doing this is because Brayden and I are kind of like going back 
to basics at the moment. Not that I would say this is really basic, like it still has like a lot of ingredients in it, but we're just like avoiding certain foods because Brayden's like allergies have been playing up and his eczema has got pretty bad recently, probably because of the change of seasons since we're going into spring and there's pollen in the air, but his poor skin's been getting so aggravated and obviously food can be triggered. So if any of you guys have eczema, Please let me know in the comments what your biggest tips are because it's been really, really tricky. So we're really trying to like pay attention to what we're eating at the moment. So I'm going to try it and we'll see how it tastes. Oh, I like it. it's really good. Okay, so I now want to spend some time setting up my new phone. I feel like this always takes a bit of time because you need to transfer stuff over and just get it set up how you like it. It's always so much fun. So I'm like, I want to just dedicate some time to do that. Also, if you guys would like me to do like a full what's on my iPhone and like review of the iPhone 13 Pro, let me know because I can do that down the track. I'll probably wait like a couple of weeks so that I've like experienced using the phone and stuff. I'll do a little first impressions with you guys in this video, but obviously I can't do a proper review because I haven't used it yet. So it would be good to be able to do it down the track after I've used the phone for a little bit. So that is the plan for now. I'm just going to chill out underneath my weighted blanket, set up my phone. I might make myself a tea in a second as well. And Sounds like an ideal Sunday afternoon, if you ask me. But I did also want to take this opportunity to quickly chat to you guys about my weighted blanket. So this is from Calming Blankets, and Calming Blankets is actually sponsoring today's video, which I'm so excited about because I have been obsessed with this ever since I got it. You will have seen it on my bed this morning, like when I was stripping it, because literally I've been using this blanket every single night when I've been sleeping. And then in the morning, I bring it into the lounge room and use it on the sofa. I've just been obsessed with it. So like I said, it's a weighted blanket this particular one is actually nine kilos believe it or not but they do actually have a few other blankets that you can choose from as well they have ones for kids adults they have king and queen sizes so you can get one that like fits your whole bed and it's so nice Brayden's been loving it as well and the reason that I really like this particular blanket which is the hand woven one is just because it's so breathable as you can see there's little holes here so it's going to be perfect for the warmer months because obviously I won't overheat Heat. So each weighted blanket is sewn with thousands of glass beads which are evenly distributed and that's what makes the blankets so heavy which I love and you might be wondering what are the benefits of actually using a weighted blanket. So basically calming blankets work by utilizing the technique which is deep touch pressure and studies have shown that deep touch pressure can instantly make you feel calmer so this has really helped people with insomnia, stress and anxiety and I can personally vouch for that. I have found it so so comforting which is why I I've been sleeping with it every single night. Like I have struggled with my sleep my whole life, especially recently actually, and this has really helped. So I'll have my sheet, my doona, and then put this on top. And it's honestly like having a big hug. If you guys want to check out Calming Blankets for yourself and pick up a weighted blanket, I do actually have a discount code, which is just Ella. So we'll have all of the information in my description box if you want to check them out. I really do recommend it. So I'm going to be here for probably the next hour setting up my phone and I will let you guys know how I go. All right, I'm going to open it up. I already briefly saw it earlier because I actually took it to Phone King to get a glass screen protector put on it. And I also had a screen protector put over the camera. So it wouldn't be a screen protector, it's a camera protector, I guess. But I just thought it's best to do it now before I forget and then smash it. But this is what it looks like. I got the gold one. And I don't know if you guys can see that but it is gold, but on the back, it almost looks kind of white, although it is gold around the camera. I'll let it focus so you guys can see it, but that's it. They gave me a little wipe so I can give the screen and the back of the phone a wipe before I put the case on. I did end up just getting one of the clear phone cases from Apple because I haven't received my phone case that I ordered from Casetify just yet. Hopefully that will arrive soon, but I just thought, you know what, I'm going to just get a clear one because I really want to be able to see the color of the phone because I just think this gold is so nice. I guess I will open up the phone case and pop this on. So this is the phone case. It's a MagSafe phone case. So let's pop it on and have a look. Oh, it looks so nice. I actually quite like that ring because it goes around the little apple on the back. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I personally love the way it looks, but I guess we will have to see what the camera is like. That is the main reason I honestly got the new phone. I just really wanted the new camera. I haven't set up a new iPhone in so long. I don't even know how to do it. Do you press the button? 
What do you do? Do I need to charge it? Or is it already charged? The Apple symbol's there. I must have done something right. Uh, hello. <laughs> Hola. I've just opened it up and my phone has this option that's popped up that says like transfer your settings. But I don't know if I want to do that because I don't know if I want to transfer everything. I'm taking a break from setting up my iPhone now, but it's going really, really well so far. So basically you get the option to either transfer everything from your phone over to your new phone, or you can do it manually. And I did it manually just because I didn't want to get all of the photos from my old phone and put it on this phone because then I just have to delete them. So yeah, I just found it easier to do it manually. So I had like a fresh start. So I'm almost done setting it up now and I've been playing around with the camera and it's honestly incredible. Like I'm so impressed. I don't know if that's just because I'm not used to a really good iPhone camera because I've had the 10 for so long, but the focus is literally incredible. Like Brayden and I were playing around and we were taking photos of each other's eyes. A bit gross if I'm completely honest, but look at this. This is Brayden's eye, fully in focus. And then that's my eye, which we don't want to look at too much because it looks really bloodshot and tired, but it's fully in focus, what the heck? So yeah, I really hope that helps improve the quality of my content now, especially since I've been posting a bit more on Instagram. So I'm really, really excited about that. So I'm gonna put away the phone for now, but the plan for the rest of the afternoon is actually to make some stuff out of clay with our new clay kit from The Clay Co. So if you guys follow my friend Jessie, her YouTube channel's Jessie Norbury, you will know that she recently launched her new brand called The Clay Co. And basically, they are just DIY pottery kits which include a bunch of tools and clay, everything to really get you started and it also includes like a manual which explains what all of the tools are and on the manual there's also a QR code that you can scan and it will send you to some tutorials that Jessie has filmed so I think we're probably going to watch some of Jessie's tutorials because I've never done this. I did actually do ceramics back in the day, fun fact, like I've still got some of my ceramics pieces at my family's house but it's been a long time and yeah, it was really, really fun. I always really enjoyed doing it. I found it a very like mindful task. So I think this is a great idea if you're wanting to get into it. And it's been something that Brayden and I thought would be fun to do together for a long time, but we've just been waiting for like the right time to get it out. But since it's the weekend and it's kind of like a gloomy afternoon, we thought, Now's the perfect time. So yeah, that's the plan for the afternoon. We're just gonna have a play around with some clay, then we'll make dinner, but I'll let you guys know how we go. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh, because I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. Okay, update. It's been an hour and a bit. Can you guess whose is whose? <laughs> oh my god, Brayden. This started off as a ring holder and has turned Wait, into... No, that's your one. Shut up! That's yours. Oh, shush. This is like when we did painting all over again. No. He's getting defensive. No, this is his one. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty impressed with this. I still need to make a handle, but I think I will maybe do that after we eat dinner or another day. I hope it doesn't matter if you just do it another day. Otherwise, I guess this is just going to be a really nice cup. Um, I ended up having to do some Instagram work. And so I left Brayden, but he couldn't do it without me, apparently. Anyway, it was a lot of fun, so we'll probably pick it up again maybe later or another day. And this is tonight's dinner. Sorry if you can hear background noise, by the way. The oven is just cooling down at the moment. But I basically just used the salad that I had for lunch and used the rest of it, split it between the two of us. And I popped some potato and sweet potato in the oven and made these little chips. And then I just chopped up some chicken breast and cooked it in the frying pan with garlic and herb salt oil and a teaspoon of honey and this is so good if you guys are wanting to look for a different way to season your chicken you have to give this a try but that is going to be tonight's dinner we've finished our dinner and it was delicious and since then i've actually gone back to playing around with the clay and finished off the mug so i thought i would show you guys and after the finished result and just what it looks like, I actually used the letter stamps that come in like the little toolkit and wrote my initials. And I think it looks really good. We ended up rolling up Brayden's clay and putting it back in the bag though. So I'll probably end up 
using that another time and try and make something but I'll flip the camera around and show you guys how the mug turned out so here it is as you can see I put my initials on it and I made a handle this was honestly quite fiddly but we got there in the end let me know what you guys think and if you want to check out the clay kits from the clay co I will link it down below I'm gonna end off this vlog here though I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me for a day in my life I feel like this was like a shorter vlog compared to my usual one so I hope you didn't mind but yeah it's been a really nice relaxing Sunday and I'm just so grateful to have got the new iPhone 13 Pro it's been so fun setting it up and the camera is honestly so so good so yeah do let me know if you'd like to see like a review and just a what's on my iphone because i can definitely do that and if you did enjoy the vlog please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next one bye